Well, hello everyone and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. We're continuing our million mile journey. Uh, how much farther do we have to go actually? 213 miles. Continuing our journey of these pressure tanks. It's uh, It's been a fun time so far. It's been a frame killer so far, but what can you do, huh? Actually, well, as I speak, it is Sunday night right now. Uh, getting kind of late, so you have to forgive me if my my driving is funny. It's been a it's been a very 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 long day. Good day, but a long day. in this Volvo. I, I, I drove it quite some time ago. I should probably watch the road. We'll wait till the sun comes up to look at the outside view. Um, I bought it some time ago. My game got messed up real bad and, and I think it really had something to do with the way some of the mods were installed and I'm still getting like I lost the Volvo the mod was there but the truck was gone I don't know where it went it just disappeared so I had to go back to the dealership and, and buy it again which is why my truck has zero miles on it the weird thing is is I couldn't just go online to the dealer and buy the truck. Every time I try to visit a dealer online, my game would crash. And even some of them that I tried to drive into, my game would crash. So, not exactly sure what's going on there. I was finally able to go to... You, please forgive me for the mispronunciation, but it's, it's Meats, Mites, something like that. The Volvo dealer there. I've got a garage there, so I was able to quick travel. I was able to get into the Volvo dealer there and uh, get my truck back. So I'm pretty excited about that and we'll have to be a little more careful next time we do a computer reload to, to really back up and save things. Luckily I don't play 10,000 games so it's not that difficult to, to get everything kind of you know up and going again. But it can be rather frustrating at times uh, when you're having trouble figuring it all out. How all the pieces fit together before you reloaded the computer. It, 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 can, it can get frustrating pretty quick. Oh, let me over, let me over, let me over. Woo. Looks like our sun's coming up now. So yeah, as I said, we'll be more careful next time and not allow that to take place the way it did. Gee, we might finish this journey today. I think we will. Only 140 miles to go. Those miles are kind of ticking away when you get something to talk about. Don't forget, also, before I forget to mention again, jaybird.us, go check out the forums there, the calendar, the, um, post all the videos there. Haven't done a ton with it since I since I started the website. It was just a 
my little spot on the internet so I that's kind of all it is right now but uh, it'd be awesome to get a little bit of interaction between people that like to watch this and and myself and maybe a couple of us can uh, grow from there and and start doing some some multiplayer stuff somewhere some way somehow some why it's nice to see the sun finally coming out So, ah, we'll be okay. We don't need no gas. Probably don't really need to be running with our headlights on, though. Or do you have to Ooh, stay in your lane? Do you have to run with your headlights on in the daytime in, in Europe uh, if you're driving a truck? That'd be a pretty, pretty decent thing to know. Um, if any of you are from Europe and have uh, an inside education on truck driving there, could you please leave a comment? Let me know if you're supposed to drive with your headlights on there all the time. Then again, it wouldn't surprise me if nobody knew because I'm from America and, uh, well, obviously. Thanks, America. Uh, I have no idea if we're supposed to be driving with our lights on here. Now, you want to talk about an automobile? I get that. When your wiper's on, your headlights are on. When it's dark out, your headlights are on. Other than that, I'm, I, I think it's pretty fair game. Uh, run them if you want. I don't run with my... Uh, well, on my Challenger, I don't. I, I, the running lights are always on when I. It actually looks pretty awesome. Um, little orange lights in the grill in the front and the and the tail lights, obviously, those are always on. They, uh, whenever I push the button to to start the car, they automatically turn themselves on. Uh, the headlights are always off. I, I've only put. I have almost 1,700 miles on the car. I bought it last June. So yeah, I, as you can see, I don't drive it ever, really. And um, rarely ever at nighttime. So I, I never really need to use my headlights. Uh, my truck is a different story. I drive my truck every single day and it commonly uses its lights um, both to and from work on some days but uh, most days just to work the, the lights are on hey, 67 miles to go <laughs> I downloaded a uh, shoot I was going to turn it on really quick but I got this turn coming up or this ramp coming up I can do this all at the same time. I downloaded a uh, dashboard, uh, Euro Truck dashboard, for my um, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 that I keep sitting next to my monitor. I moved a few things around. I Instead of having the large monitor right in front of me and then the smaller one standing up sideways right next to it, I, I moved my PlayStation right where that monitor was. Oh. Okay, that was dumb. Um, I purchased a pivoting wall mount and now have that smaller monitor mounted directly above the larger monitor right in front of me 
and I keep, for example, right now I have my MSI Afterburner displayed on it and my OBS showing what I'm recording here. And then immediately to my left I have a uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 that now has my Euro Truck dashboard displaying on it that has my tax speedometer, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, um, time, where I'm coming from, where I'm going to, how much longer I have, it's got headlight indicators, it's got how much I'm, weight I'm hauling, it's got blinker indicators every time I turn one of my blinkers on, the little light flashes on the screen. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice little, little extra. Uh oh, don't tell me he's getting tired. Only got 49 miles to go. It's a nice little extra, and then right next to that, I have my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2, which is my cell phone, but I run a timer on it because I I try to keep all my videos around or under the 20 minute mark I, I understand it it starts getting boring so uh, I try to keep a 20 minute cap on them it doesn't always work that way but that's what I do and when I'm eye racing I have my uh, oh which one is it it's the uh, I got I'm gonna have to look at it now right quick my iRace dash is on my my tab three and then I've got a galaxy oh As you can tell, I'm kind of a Galaxy freak. I, I love this, the Samsung Galaxy uh, product line. <clears throat> I had the original Galaxy S. I've got my Note 2. I've got my Tab 3. And as I was trying to say before that jackass stopped right in the middle of the highway, is when I'm eye racing right over by my PlayStation on my right, I have my... I have my um, I race dash on my tab three, which basically all that's for is running the pit stops. And then I have my dash meter pro over to my right, which uh, I, I use a lot for my, my information panel, if you will. Um, it displays how many laps I have left to go, which is convenient having that right up in front of you uh, before you run out of gas temperatures and, and it's got like the, the red display with the white flashing numbers so it really really catches my eye uh, when anything's going wrong it alerts me very well <sighs> oh, are we gonna stop Ooh, I didn't think we were gonna be able to stop um, the only issue with my my dash meter pro is it used to be mounted my galaxy tab 10.1 used to be mounted up above my my large monitor right in front of me which now it's mounted to the right so looking at it has become a job just getting used to looking down and to the right rather than looking directly above me but I'm sure that's something I'll eventually get used to to watch the Daytona 500 today though that was uh, it was weird I mean it was good but it was 
it was so uneventful. I, I was kind of surprised. I mean, towards the end there, I, I really was up right off my seat, right on the edge of my seat. And I, I, I got to tell you, I really don't have a favorite. I, I love NASCAR. I really don't have a favorite driver, but I got to tell you, I, I was rooting for Earnhardt. A, a second year in the road to take home the 500, that would just be amazing considering the uh, experience that he's had um, lately in his career with, with, well, let's just say it how it is, he doesn't win. You know, so uh, uh, taking home the Daytona 500 two times in as many years would be pretty awesome. So I really was rooting for him. It's pretty bad. He got shuffled halfway back through the pack with, uh, what do you have, like 20 laps to go, 15 laps to go, and got shuffled way back. That that kind of stunk, but uh, <sighs> it is it is what it is. You know, what are you, what are you going to say? Um... I was there was no big one though that that was kind of surprising. I was I was impressed with with how everybody carried themselves and and I mean don't get me wrong I love watching these cars get smashed up too um, I was a little disappointed that we didn't see any of that but um, good for them you know I, they don't want to smash their cars up obviously but yeah that was kind of weird usually it's just carnage you know the Daytona 500 you're 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 almost guaranteed to get a, a couple bits of carnage in there before the, the day is over I guess last year's carnage came in the way of a six hour rain delay but still just senseless makes no sense how they all held their held it together and kept their composure for uh, would it run three hours three and a half hours is actually you know that's the length it's supposed to be so anyway uh, without further ado it looks like we've arrived at our location so we're gonna call that a video it's a couple minutes short but that's okay my guy's yawning like a bastard anyway so I'm gonna park this here trailer you know what I'll show you guys I don't hit the enter button to park my trailer. I like parking my trailer. Sometimes it takes several tries, more often than not. But I like doing it. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, for me, that's amazing. I usually don't do that good, especially on the first try. Anyway, guys, again, thank you for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that um, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to share the video. Give it a big thumbs up. It really helps, and uh, thanks for watching.